welcome to my channel. My name is Shauna, see if you guys are new, and tonight I'm gonna show you guys my night routine. You guys can see it is dark outside, and I just got back from my workout. I always work out at 4.30. I'm just gonna go through my entire night because I want you guys to like really get a good idea of like how I relax, how I like do self care. Um, you guys probably know that I like put things on stories literally all day long over on Instagram. But usually when it gets to be evening, I like don't put stuff on stories as often. So this is kind of like an inside look into what I do in the evening. And so you guys can kind of see, um, I just have dinner going right now and I actually am going to make um, this little chicken and dumpling. Wow, I'm dropping things here. <laughs> this little um, chicken and dumpling soup mix because it's like super easy. You just add water and you let it simmer and that's like what I'm down for. Especially after like I work out, I'm always just like so tired. So now I'm, I'm like still out of breath from my workout and like I shouldn't be cause like it was not like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna go and shower because that's always the first thing that I do after my workout I shower in the morning. So if you guys watch my morning routine video I'll link it below if you guys haven't but I shower in the morning and then on days that I work out I also shower in the evening. I know I know I probably need to like cut back on showers but like I cannot wait until the evening to shower because I just feel so gross, especially when I get into like a really cute like set like this from Fabletics. It just feels gross after like having a whole day of not showering and then like working out and then showering like literally late at night. So sometimes I shower twice a day. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go and work. Um, wow, I'm not gonna go and work out. I'm so tired from this workout. Literally it killed me. I'll put on the screen like some of the stuff that we did today Like I always put it on stories, but my arm is like actually killing me So I'm gonna go and shower um, and then after that I'll show you guys the rest of what I do for my entire night routine I'm really excited to show you guys because I feel like this is kind of an inside look um, Into what I do. I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite skincare products. It's gonna be kind of chatty I'm also going to wash my hair so you guys will see like the whole process of like when I wash my hair, what products I use, um, and then I'm going to talk about some of my favorite like Netflix shows probably while I do my hair and we can just chat. So it should be a nice little vlog and hopefully you guys enjoy. Okay, I'm getting ready to get in the shower. I have all of my um, products that I use pretty much just like laying down here. I'm going to go through each one um, like before I get in or like either after I get done or something but um i use all these and then these are some of my hair products over here and then these are new products i've actually never tried this particular thing or this mask but i'm gonna try it today i really just like want to have like a whole like self-care night so i feel like i'm gonna wash my hair and then like use this little body oil just like get really relaxed that's kind of like the plan for tonight so uh, i'm gonna hop in the shower i always like eat dinner after I shower. I never really eat dinner first because like I feel like when I eat dinner I always want to relax. Um, I put my ring over here. I always take it off and put it on this little like side container. Um, but I liked, wow, come on, can we focus on here? Um, I like to, wow, this mirror is like so messy. Um, I like to eat after I'm done with everything so that I'm not like feeling like I have to rush and like hurry up and eat so that I can go and shower and stuff. So I'm gonna get in the shower and I will check back in with you guys after I get out and show you guys like how I twist my hair and what products I use on my face and body and everything on a self care night. So I just got out of the shower. It's actually insane by how much my hair just like shrinks. Like it's literally the same length 
but it just shrinks so much and gets so short um, whenever I first get out of the shower. But the first thing that I put in is um, this Alake Naturals Lemongrass. It's a really good product for anyone that has curly hair just because it's like, I don't know, it's a good like, like detangler and I use it pretty much every single day, even the days that I don't wash my hair, um, just because it like adds a lot of moisture to your hair and it smells really good. It literally smells like lemon and you can get it at Target. Um, and then after that, I like to put in, let's see, where is it? Oh, there we go. I use this Blueberry Bliss um, curls in my hair. Let's see. Can we focus? There we go. Um, that's what I use. And I already put some in because I usually will put some in the shower right before I step out just because um, I like to add in a product and not have it like be completely dry when I get out because I know usually I'm going to put like lotion on and like all that kind of stuff. And so it just takes a while for it to really like or it doesn't take a while for it to get really dry. So if I put something in it before I like actually get out, then um it'll like be fine and not be like super dry. What I put on my face is, um, I put, here, let me put my hair into two little pigtails, cause that's the best way to keep it out of my face. Okay, so I um, am pretty much done. I like to tuck the ends under um, and then just put like two little pigtails to keep my hair back. My arms are literally killing me, so like doing that literally was such pain. Um, but I use this denim brush. You guys probably saw me use it for like a quick second just to like get my edges right here, but usually I will um, use the denim brush as I twist. And so I'll like separate one portion of hair and then use a denim brush on that portion of hair instead of my whole head. Um, I just feel like it works a little bit better on my hair. I'm just like wiping my hands off on this towel. It's Brady's towel, don't tell under. <laughs> and then on my face i use this brightening citrus serum it's so good actually brady the other day was like oh like your face looks really clear and like i was like it's literally this freaking brightening serum and i've never been a big person into like skincare and stuff only because i feel like sometimes like i don't know it just takes so long to find the right product um for your face and i've tried so many things that literally do nothing and it's such a waste of money um but this brightens your face so much but also it like i don't know it just like i feel like the dark circles under my eyes are like gone um they're just like very bright in that area which is like what i want um down here i feel like i have some dark spots from like acne and stuff and it's like gotten really like a lot brighter right here i actually <laughs> burned my face with a um curling iron like years ago when i was a kid and it's just like brightened up so much um so there's just like a lot of areas on my face that got really bright and i used to actually have terrible acne right here um like in my t-zone growing up and i've never like i said been one to like use a ton of like products um so like for me to like pretty much say like everyone should get this product like that's kind of a big deal and then i have this uh tropics moisturizer from rose and skincare mm -hmm. it is almost gone as you guys can see um there's literally only like half left and so i'm gonna have to pick up another one really soon but i like this moisturizer because it is like so like i typically have an oily face and so i used to actually just not put a moisturizer on but then i found that if you have a oily face and you don't put a moisturizer on your face like gets even more oily because it's like trying to build up more oils because you don't have oil on your face so it like was actually hurting me instead of helping me by not using a moisturizer but then whenever i would put on a moisturizer my face would just feel like so like heavy and like i just didn't like it and so i had the hardest time finding a moisturizer and then i got this one and whenever i got this one i was like whatever like i'll try it see if it works and literally when you put it on it's like like any other moisturizer you know it kind of feels like a lotion on your face but then after a while it like really sucks into your skin i don't know what they put in it um to make it do that but it's just like you can't even feel it and it's not like a moisturizer that like makes your face tight like i've tried some of those before where 
like your face just feels like it's like so tight like you can't move like you got botox or something this isn't like that at all so i really like this i'll link everything below but those are my only two things that i use on my face i use this brightening um exfoliating wash while i'm in the shower just to like take off everything off of my face and then i usually use this um peeling gel while i'm in the shower as well i don't use it every day because i feel like if i use it every day it would be like detrimental for my, for my face like i feel like your face needs like some stuff on there so i'm trying to get it to focus but it's like doing its own thing here um but yeah i feel like your face needs like a little bit of like skin on there um god this is not focusing at all come on okay well whatever anyway it's um peter thomas roth peeling gel um exfoliant i'll link it below for you guys but yeah so that's pretty much my um skin routine and this already is like soaked in i feel like it's not like tight at all i feel like i can move um but it doesn't really feel like i'm wearing anything which is nice i did not try these two it's just because i i'm like when i get into my routine it's hard for me to like break out of it which is probably why it took me so long to find like good products but i'll try those another day so i'm going to take these out um to the other room i already put in enough of this um like pearls moisturizer and i'm gonna just take this with me and that's it just these three things and i'll twist my hair we can chat usually i like to twist my hair before i eat dinner and i know it's like so late usually by the time i eat but like i know that if i eat i'm just gonna end up just like falling into a deep hole of like not wanting to twist my hair and then i'll just be like super tired so i always do it first and i recommend that to anyone who has like tough projects or like stuff to do that you don't want to do because if you wait to do it then it's just going to be even harder like after you're done and you've like sat down i kind of went straight from like working out to shower uh or working out to like throwing on dinner to showering and so like i haven't really taken a break to just sit and i feel like the minute that i sit is going to be the minute that i just like literally don't get up and i sit down forever so I take all this stuff out there and um can go chat while i do my hair wow i look like an actual troll like this is great <laughs> so i'm just out here um getting ready to turn on netflix because that's what i do whenever i do my hair um i saw one of my friends on instagram she was like talking about how she's watching the show called harvest moon so that's what we're gonna pull up let's do some netflix in Hey yo, hobby Halloween, that's not what I wanted. Oh my gosh, this not on here? What the heck? So it looks like they took Harvest Moon off, so I'm gonna see if they have Love Island. Love Island, USA. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna start at the beginning. Oh no! Oh my gosh! What the heck? They don't have all of season two. Oh my gosh! Come on. Okay, Netflix. I honestly, can't believe I've taken this long to like find something to watch. But they don't have anything that I want to watch on here. So. to go to bed 
Um, I need to brush my teeth. It was really nice watching Emily in Paris. If you guys haven't watched Emily in Paris, you should. It's like another Gossip Girl pretty much, um, but just like more modern and um, I don't know. The, the reason it's like Gossip Girl, because I do say Gossip Girl loosely, it's like Gossip Girl because the characters like want to dress really cute they want to be like chic and couture and they want to wear like the best pieces like gossip girl um and then there's like a lot of like drama where the characters kind of like overlap where like one person's interested in someone and that other person who they're interested in is interested in someone else so it's really really good but i'm gonna finish brushing my teeth and I'll take you guys into the bedroom, show you guys what I did. I'm done and brush my teeth. I'm like so tired. Like, and I know usually I am tired, but I feel like I'm like way more tired than usual today. I think it's just because I've been staying up super late, like way later than I've needed to. Um, so I'm going to grab my silk bonnet if I can it in this closet of mine this other one i have in here is not one that i normally wear because it has a hole in the back but that's just what we're gonna use today because i can't i can't find the one that i normally use so i set you guys up here oh i love crawling into bed after a long day it's literally the best feeling Oh, like, oh my god, you guys don't even understand the feeling. Well, you probably do, but it's just honestly the best, best freaking feeling. So, before I go to bed, I always put on two coats of chapstick. I keep them in my nightstand. This one is Your Good Skin. You guys know my obsession with everything that your good skin comes out with and they have a chapstick so i put that on my lips and i already put my ring in um the little like i have a little holder Here, i'll show you guys so right there i just put it in there also this candle is gone usually i light it at night but it's like completely gone. I already ordered a second one from Nordstrom. The best candle that you will ever try. Like, I'm not kidding. I also keep my blue light glasses in here just in case I want to read at night. Um, sometimes it's just nice. So yeah, I already put on the one coat and then this is my second coat. And this one is different. It's Dr. Rogers Restore Healing Balm. Now, this one feels really good, but... I don't know if this is actually helping my lips or making them more chapped. So it could be. Hi! Whoa! Hi, crazy! He just came in from outside. Um, so I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated. I love how it feels when I first put it on, but I feel like my lips, like if I don't have it on, it like feels so dry. Um, and maybe that's just because I need more water. I don't know. But the book that I've been reading is. I'm still here, Black Dignity and the World Made for Whiteness by Austin Channing Brown. Whoa, hey! No puking in the bed. No puking. Babe, will you call Bangs? You can get all these stick things off his head. Go get him, go. Get up, go get him. Go, get up. Go, go get him. Go get him. Go get him. He has so much energy. Oh my God, he's like a freaking child. Um, he like goes outside and he'll like have, um, he'll like get his head in the bushes and stuff and it freaking like, he gets all these little like sticks and stuff in his like paws and his fur and it's just like oh, so annoying. Cause like then he'll come over and be like, oh, take it out. And it's like, you're fine, it doesn't even hurt. Anyway, he's just like such a big baby. So this is the book I'm reading. I've been trying to read it honestly for the longest, um, but I'm just so bad about reading because I also keep my MacBook down here. And since my Mac is down there, it's really easy for me to just like want to work. Um, 
and especially because my blue light glasses are also right there so yeah i put my bonnet on oh i need a new one this one is falling apart now this bonnet helps keep um my hair from like breaking and like no matter what type of hair type you have i think bonnets are good for everyone because it's literally like silk now if you have silk sheets like a silk um if you have a silk like um pillowcase or silk like blanket or whatever then i don't think you need a bonnet because the bonnet is like what is it does the same thing it's like silk sheets but if you don't um it's good like if you have you ever like woke up where you have like hair like your hair all over your bed um and it's just like literally like everywhere like on your pillow and your bed and everything and that's like literally why you would wear a bonnet because you don't get that breakage so you're not gonna see like your hair just like all over the bed because it's not gonna be breaking throughout the night so that's why i wear it and like i really think that it's like so good for everyone to wear um i used to not wear it and then i would literally wake up and i would have like my hair everywhere um so that just goes to show like by twisting and turning and moving like your hair is just like breaking and like falling off in the bed so anyway i don't know and now i can't sleep without it literally if i go out of town and um i don't have it i have to like go to a like a cvs or a walgreens and buy it because like i need it so i'm gonna set my alarm for 6 and 6 30. i always do that because um I like to wake up at 6, but then there are some days where, like, I just hit snooze, and then I hit it too many times, but, like, the 6.30 mark is, like, get up now. So, um, they have two different alarms, so it kind of, like, helps me distinguish between, like, what time it is. <sighs> so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go to bed. Um, I will see you guys in my next one. I hope you guys enjoyed i don't know what i'm saying i need to go to bed so good night guys and i'll see you in my next one bye